Hello everyone and welcome to Learn by Watch. In today's video, we will be learning grid system in Bootstrap. Now, grid system is very important as it helps us align items in a row. So, let's see how we can do that in our own web pages. So, let's get started. So, now to start with grid system, let's go to get started on Bootstrap, get bootstrap.com and quickly just copy the starter template first and paste that into our HTML file, save it and as you can see now it will have hello world. Now what I am going to do is I am going to layouts. Inside layout you will find grid. That's what we are covering in this session. In the previous session we did talk about containers while we were doing models or any other thing that how con containers are used to add some margin around left and right. So here also container is used and inside container we are learning how we can form a grid system for ourselves. This is the very first example that we have given here. We have a div class container which is basically to give margins on both the sides and then we have a class row. So row is your entire row which contains all of these three columns and inside this row we have these three columns. Very simple right? So let's copy this and see. Let's copy it below here and save it. And what we can do here is uh, we won't be able to see the border yet. So, but just let's refresh and see. We can just see column, column. There's no border which is visible to us. So for that reason, what we can do is we can select. You can have a style sheet over here. In the end, here I will add a style sheet, tab and just can leave the type for now and inside I am going to select dot call and I will give them a border of 2 pixels, solid, black and let's go back and refresh and you can see now we have column uh, borders around the, the columns and it's pretty much more visible how they look now, right? What else we can do is we can also add something like go to your components and you can add any of these components also inside your columns. It's not that only text is can be done like that. So for example, I will go for card with some text. So this is a card with only text and subtitle and all. So I copy this and go back to my page and wherever I have like column written, instead of that, I will give that. And scroll down. I'll paste it here as well. I'll for the scroll and paste it here. Save it and let's go back to our page and refresh. And here we have these cards like this. Now, if you want now, you can remove the border as well because now it does not look good with all these card titles inside. But let it be so for now. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go back to my grid. So layout the grid. Then I want to tell you something really important here. Which is here. As you can see, one of these columns is now wider than the rest of how did they do that? They did that with the help of call stick. Now, there are a total of 12 parts in a row that can be divided into several columns. So, what they are doing, they are dividing, uh, they are providing this specific column with 6 parts of the total area which is available and the rest of them, which is your first div and your third div in the first row, they both will be divided from the remaining 6. So both of them have equal equal 3, call 3 and call 3. So that's what's happening here. Similarly, you can see that they give call 5 here. So we have call 5 here and call 7 around is left. So this would be like the rest of them is divided equally to 1 of 3 and 3 of 3. Then we can have variable width as well. Like when the screen size is large, it should be 2. When the screen size is medium, do it automatically, right? And 
yeah pretty much like that so let's do a thing let's go back here and what i'm going to do here is now i'm going to remove all of these steps from where oh yeah go up i'm going to remove all of this for now and i'm going to go back and i will be copying the very first column only the very first thing that we had we're going to start from fresh and then we are going to use lg and all everything right i'm going to paste them here and what i'm going to do is i will add images here and inside image sources let's find some nice image source that we can add here so let's go to google search for anything i'm just going to search for google image uh, dog images because that is the thing that came to my mind first i'm just doing that and i'm going to take this dog's image copy image address go back to my sublime text and paste it here remember it should end with .jpg .png or .gifi all of that because uh, it's an image so it should end with an image extension so i'm just going to copy this line and i'm going to copy this line here as well and i'm going to save this now let's go back and see how they look refresh and we can see that uh, the image is not loading properly okay so for that reason what we can do is since the image is not loading properly uh, let's remove the border for now and now let's go back and refresh and now the images are there actually the image is really big because of that this thing happened so what we're going to do here is we're going to give this image some width so let's have a style attribute in between where we're going to give it a width of 200 pixels and a height of 150 pixels and i'm going to copy this style and provide it to all the image uh, tags that i have and then place it safe and as you can see i missed a com uh, quotes there i missed quotes here as well now we're done let's go back and refresh now we have these three images these are in our columns so now when we have fixed the size already what we can do is we can give it called six and here i will give a style of background color as purple and close this refresh here and you can see now this one is really big now just going to provide color background color to the others as well so style equal to background color and this one i'm going to give it as red and the above one is here and i'm going to give this also some other color so that you can see the difference between background color as yellow and save it once you have saved it we go back we refresh and you can see this is the part for call six is this big others are this small so uh, what we are going to do now is we are going to apply call lg when it's large i want you to give it a size of four and then go below on large give it a size of four on large give it a size of four so large and above it will give this size then i'm saying when it's small give it a size of six or maybe 12 itself 12 and again call small will be you know 12 then again call small will be half to be it will be 12 then uh call medium also you can give in medium you can give it as six call medium we will give it as six again i am putting it here call medium as six 
Now let's save this. Oh, let's save this and check. Here we have it. So right now all of them are four 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 because thing size is big. Now this size is considered medium. So you can see now in medium they were. If I go this side, so in medium they are six here. Right, so both are half a half divided, and the other one which was left is pushed down to the next row. Now, when I make it small, you can see I have one dog image in one line. So this is how you can make your page responsive as well. So you see, in this page using Bootstrap, you learn how you can make your web pages responsive so that they are usable with mobile. They are mobile friendly. They are tablet friendly, and they are normal PC friendly as well. So this is it for today's session. I believe now Bootstrap Grid system is clear to you, and you can work with it. If you have any doubts, please put them down below in the comment section, and I will help you. If you like this video, give it a like and share it with your friends so that they can also take advantage of this course. In next video, we'll be covering a web page, and after that video, we'll be creating an image gallery with Bootstrap. So stay tuned.